Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So today we have the Airbot Wrath 32 50 amp ESCs. Now we've already tested the 35 amp ESC versions which were the iPikas and the Airbot Wrath 35. They're both the same. However, the iPikas came with a heatsink. And so these are the 50 amp version and they're just humongous. So let's just put them into compare. So let's compare something. So this is the Spedex ESHV and it's pretty darn big. So yeah. So this is a 32-bit ESC and it's rocking a Cortex-M0 microcontroller unit. So we are able to run DSHOT 1200 and more if possible once the firmwares allow us. So let's check out the current features, I would say. So it can run 2 to 6S, uh, 50 amp, and I believe it's a 60 amp burst if I remember correctly. And we do have a shunt resistor, which is current limiting and current reading. So we will have telemetry from this guy, which is expected and everyone wants it, especially me. And, and it has all those good things. So we here we see some kind of protection. We see a tiny little 10 ton capacitor. It could be big, but I mean, when it's next to all these massive components, it probably that's why it looks tiny. And we have four fat ceramic capacitors. That's nice to see here. And here we have another four. So that's a total of eight. That's very good. And what else do we have? We have an RGB LED here, which is pretty awesome. So this will run telemetry, and this is gonna be very exciting once the firmware is completely ready for this. So if you are looking for a monster build, I believe this is the guy to go to. Not sure, not yet. We're gonna put on the bench, we're gonna test it, and see how good it performs. But to be honest, I have a feeling it's gonna perform pretty darn good. So uh, we've tested its little brothers, so this should be good. So anyways, enough talking, let's get started. All right guys, so I looked over the video and I'm going frame by frame and it just, it's a very good result. It's, it's, it's actually, it's spectacular. So it's, it's to be expected from Airbot, from the Wrath ESCs. They're actually doing a very good job. And um, this is possibly one of the best ESCs currently in the market right now. And um, that, there's nothing to say other than they're, they're good. So uh, the noise was very reasonable. You should not see any noise inside your FPV footage. Uh, the voltage spike was in the complete save zone. Can you imagine? It only jumped 2 volts. The voltage spike only jumped 2 volts. Usually they jump 10, sometimes even 15. Um, so 2 volts is basically nothing. It's just absolutely perfect, really. Uh, voltage drop, it dropped 2 volts. That's just crazy. So th that just says a lot. So this is a very good ESC. Uh, if you do have very power hungry motors, uh, this is gonna be your best friend. So hopefully he will serve you well. So you got your LED, you got your current resistor. So you could even expand the life of this if you set up the current resistor just fine, just perfect. So you'd never burn this baby out. So, um, which is very good. Uh, they are on the expensive side, but I think they're worth every penny. So uh, I don't see any headaches with this guy. I just see just you know, just plug them in and go fly. That's how it seems like to me. So I'm trying to think of what kind of build I could do with these guys to really test them. And I don't know, maybe Emacs 2306, 2750 KV motors. But you know, those even 35 amp hold those. No, but sometimes they pull a lot more amperage. So yeah, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna put these on some high KV uh, big motors so we can actually really test these guys and see how well they perform. And also, we can set up the current limiter to save our battery for running on a 4S. So that's pretty sweet as well. Um, I really can't say much about it other than it's good. The testing is absolutely phenomenal. Um, and um, that's it, really. So uh, if anyone's used it, please let me know before I set this up and tell me your experience with it. Uh, to me, it seems like you probably had a very good time. So, um, yeah. 
that's it guys so that's gonna conclude it for this video guys and i really hope i helped someone out there if you guys have any questions or any suggestions feel free to let me know and that's it guys see ya take care happy flying